Ok, so before we start creating the terrain, let's first create the project file in Maya and have the folders created correctly. So let's go to file, and let's go to the project window here. And now it's in default, let's click new. And then let's rename this folder 3D Forest. Ok, so this is basically our main working folder. And then the location, let's change that to the desktop. Under this forest folder, for example. And now Maya have created all these subfolders, so let's click accept. So now let's quit Maya. And then I'm gonna show you guys, now here in the desktop, we have this 3D forest with all these subfolders that uh, Maya created. So that's perfect. So let's close this. Okay, so let's open the Google Earth. And now we have this Google Earth. Uh, it's pretty simple to use. You just can, uh, you know, navigate anywhere in the world and you can zoom in to different places and uh, see uh, the terrain. So, for example, if we go, for example, Grand Canyon. Okay, so Grand Canyon, you click on search. It's going to now fly over to there. And, uh, yeah. So now you can see here the terrain of the Grand Canyon. And it's a really good uh, uh, tool to use here and just get a reference of how things look like. And also a great place to check for uh, terrain for modeling or like in our case here we're gonna use it to check uh, uh, for uh, reference for mountains that we can use for our terrain. And then we're gonna actually capture them using SketchUp. Okay, so this is good. So let's remove this from history. We don't need it. And then I'm gonna show you guys here uh, so somewhere in Mexico and Sonora, there is a place I found that's really good for our uh, demo, for our tutorial here. So you can see it have a nice mountains. They're not really big, uh, and they have like you can see here the trees are really like small, and uh, it's, it's really like a nice place to create this nice uh, hill type uh, terrain where we can scatter our trees and create our environment. So this is what we're gonna be using. So let me just delete this one for now. And then uh, I'm gonna show you guys, like let's say you, you're going through Google Earth and then you found this place that you want. And then you just can click on this uh, pin icon. And then it's gonna create this uh, location here for you. So this basically you can take uh, uh, information here, the latitude and longitude. That's very, very, very important for us now. We need to capture this information so it's gonna help us in SketchUp to record uh, and capture this detail. So let's create this uh, text pad and then let's take the latitude, let's take this information and then paste it here. So this basically longitude and latitude is basically uh, just recording where is the location uh, of this uh, mountains here. So this is all good now. Uh, so we can click OK. If somehow you lost this information, you can just uh, right click on this icon and then get info and then you can get it back. That's the two information here that mostly we need to in order to capture this terrain. So let's uh, exit Google Earth and let's, let's go to SketchUp after that. Okay, so let's open SketchUp. And this is the first time you open it. It's gonna show you like this uh, information here. We need to click on choose template. And for SketchUp, you don't have to buy the Pro. You can get uh, SketchUp the uh, not pro version or you can have the student license or you can have trial. We just needed to capture the, uh, the terrain from Google Earth. So let's click on uh, and also here, for example, in this template, it doesn't really matter which one you pick. You can pick any of these uh, two and it will work totally fine. And then let's click on start. OK, so for SketchUp, let's ignore this. Uh, it's for update and it's pretty simple the middle mouse uh, if you drag you can rotate around and then if you want to move you can press on this uh, hand icon and then you can uh, do like that move around okay so let's now use this information that we recorded from google earth and uh, have it uh, by using sketchup to basically get that terrain so let's go to file and then geolocation and then add location and then we need to wait for the location to show up. So now it's uh, showing somewhere in the world. So what we need to do here in the search, uh, we need to add the address. So let's copy this uh, first information here and put it 
on this side and then let's copy this second one and then let's press space and then let's paste this and click search okay so now you can see it did uh, show us the location where we use before so this is a place this is a place that we want to capture okay so what we do now we can so as you can see here just capture like a one kilometer it cannot capture like a long um, it cannot capture more than that but that's all what we need we don't need more than this information that's pretty good so you can click on select region already pinned all the information you need and then click grab okay we just need to wait for it and now you can see it grab the terrain and uh, the only issue with this one is like it's flat we don't see any 3d geometry so the the way how to show the 3d geometry is go file and then uh, geolocation and then show terrain and now you can see we got the terrain the mountains everything we want in here so that's perfect because that's all what we need we need this enough detail here so instead of remodeling this manually and trying to get this nice organic look we can capture this information and just take it straight to maya so this is perfect so now what we need to do is go click on file export 3d model and then we can put this for example in the forest folder and then we don't want to have 3d assets since we use maya we can use just fbx and then in the option there is a triangulate or faces we don't need to triangulate uh, that uh, y is up so let's keep that model unit let's keep that as well because now it's going to be an actual uh, units and then everything here we can keep as it is so click ok and then let's name this uh, terrain and then click export so now it just gives you information about the model itself so click close and then we can just go to Maya now and continue there.